What is up YouTube? Today, we're gonna be taking a look at my updated build for the LVOAC. The Season 2 update came out yesterday and a lot of things have changed. They have nerfed the stats for the best barrel attachments, so that changes up my previous best LVOAC build entirely. So I got to work and I've created a brand new updated LVOAC build that is just insane. It barely compromises on anything and it makes it so much easier to hit shots due to the extremely low recoil. And due to the changes, we can now expand the magazine size so that we can have 45 rounds instead. I used to die a lot due to running out of ammo and maybe you did too but not anymore. So let's get straight into it. We have our base LVOAC here, and the first thing that we're gonna be doing is changing up the muzzle here to the muzzle brake. This helps out with our horizontal recoil, which the LVOAC actually has a decent amount of, while it does hurt your short range and medium range by 5%, but that really just ends up being about two or three meters, which is not a big deal. The 7% horizontal recoil control is just better. Nothing on the barrel because they actually nerfed the lightweight barrel now, and none of the other ones are actually worth it. So then we go to the front rail and we put on the small bird. Nothing here has changed. This is still good. There's no real need for an optic on the LVOAC, so let's keep the spot open for another attachment here, and in this case, the extended magazine for the magazine. You'll have a little bit of a slower reload time, but it's totally worth it for the extra 15 bullets. I cannot even begin to explain how many times I've died just because I didn't have an extra like 10 bullets. Then for the rear grip, we put on the quick draw grip to help out with the sprint to shoot time and the ADS speed. We do not care about ADS stability at all at these ranges. And lastly, for the stock, surprisingly enough, enough, the precision stock. It'll help with a horizontal and our vertical recoil. And here you have it. Here are the stats. We do hurt our short and medium range by about two meters, which is really nothing. Our sprint to fire time is much better and our ADS speed reduction is pretty good. It's not the best, but the big deal here is the recoil control. This thing will just help you laser people while our movement is just a little bit improved. And of course, you can miss shots now due to the magazine size and the reload speed actually only increased by 0.4 seconds. In exchange for 15 extra rounds, that's a pretty good deal. And now I have one game to show you here where I showcase this LVOAC, which I thought was pretty fun, so I really hope you enjoy. Oh man, we're already starting off with a good fight here. There we go. Actually, we got to kill him. That was good. Having 45 rounds and this good of a sprint to shoot time and a DS speed, it's just... Wow, this should be illegal. Got seven rounds left. As long as I don't miss. Yeah, I missed one. Just get rid of that first. Whoa! Let's fire out some warning shots, you know? See, that was a warning that you were gonna die if you stepped in. Oh! Oh, goodness! Oh, good! Got him! Alright, let's keep it going here. I see you. I can't believe we just killed each other. It's just been happening a lot here in this uh, game lately, which is okay. So, I mean, I get it that you should be dying if you both shoot at the same time. But I feel like it happens a little bit too much. At least they fixed the issue, though, where you used to just get the hit marker and then not even a kill. So you would just die instead of both of you killing each other. Look at that. I still have 21 rounds after getting two kills just because of the extended mag. They also made it a lot easier and, I mean, quicker. Whoa, how did this guy miss so much? Oh my god. I just feel bad for him. And then I died to a grenade. That timing. That timing. I wasn't sure which one to shoot first. Once you try out this build, you'll see what I mean with the recoil. This thing is just a beast. Come on. I know you're here. When did you get in here? Let's get on this point here. Whoa. I bet that guy was using that MP5 or something. Oh, I'm surrounded. Come on. There you go. Got him too. Reload here. Ooh, he wasn't expecting that, was he? Just get rid of that for future use. Guy in here? 
Yeah, there is. There we go. My, oh, I have one bullet. How did I run out of ammo with 45 rounds? That is wild. Let's get on this point now. No! Oh, we killed each other. Somebody on top here. Not anymore. Oh my goodness, once again, we just kill each other. It's like when you have two players that can somewhat aim, they all just end up hitting each other. I'm sticking on this point, damn it. This is our point. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. We just... <laughs> That guy had so much time to kill me and he just didn't. That's crazy. What is this? Why are you here? Why is there so many of them? That would have been cool. What is this guy doing? Get out of here. Put a heal out here for my teammate. Not gonna let y'all pass. Let's reload here. Okay, or not. Oh no. The capture point is so far from us. Put a heal out here for my team. Oh, get wrecked. Let's go. Where's everybody? Get on the damn point, team. Let's go. Got him. Let's get on this. Come on, come on! Oh no. Okay, 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 okay. Five seconds, five seconds on the point. That's all we need. Three. Hours, hours, hours. Let's go! And I put this out, and let's go. That's the LVOAC right there for you. Although the most popular attachments have been nerfed in Season 2, we can still make an insane weapon as you just saw in that game. Try it out, and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Leave a like, and I'll see you on the next one. Owl out.